What is up everyone, Bo here from BZ Hub, bringing you another Diamond Hunts. Number three this time. This is a fun one, I like uh, showing off some of the diamonds and rares we've been seeing. Today it's not only me, it's, it's, we've also got some other people, well, one person, that we met online doing multiplayer, so that's going to be fun as well. As always, timetable is in the description if you'd like to skip around and don't have to watch the whole video. I respect your time, as always. Anyway, let's get into it. Hit the intro. First up, we've got our friend Moscow, who we met online. Uh, he had just lost an albino kudu, and then I was having to be hunting, and I found an albino kudu, and so I said, hey, Moscow, come over here and get this guy. And so he did, and so uh, he he got him. We took some pictures. It was a it was a fun little time. I I I think so anyway. Hope he enjoyed it. Hope it looks good in your lodge, Moscow. Look at that, good times. Next, we've got another albino kudu, which I found on my hunt. This was the same hunt actually. I found this albino kudu, and then I moved it on to another area and then found the other albino kudu. So, I mean, at that point, I was just like, I don't even need, I, it, I already had one in the lodge. That would have been my third albino kudu, and uh, you know, it's just starting to get ridiculous by then. That's that's why it was easy to hand it over to Moscow at that point, but I mean, it's, it's, it is nice to find rares. I, I can't complain about that, and look at this guy. It's great, it's fun, I love it. So here's the thing about this one, I didn't even know it was. A melanistic timber wolf. I was just, I just saw the wolves traveling. They all look the same to me, except, you know, if it, unless it's egg white or something like that. So I just took a shot at the level seven, just wanting to shoot something. And then we just kind of lucked out. I mean, it just happened to be melanistic. I don't, I don't really have anything else to say, but this is my genuine reaction. Look at that. And it was, oh my goodness. I saw it and I was like, that's dark. So that's, that's pretty fun. Lastly, for the rares on this episode, I have a brown and black springbok. I don't even, I don't even know. What do you guys think? What are these rare? I, they're starting to seem like a gold wildebeest to me. I, I see them all the time. I think I have like four in my lodge right now. Maybe I'm just lucky. I don't know. But uh, tell me down below. How many do you have? I mean, do you see a lot of them? What do you think? And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's get into some diamond level animals. I don't always have voice recorded for some of these videos, but for this one, I do. So this is going to be kind of in the moment voice action here. <laughs> there it goes. I was going to say, it's going to pop back up. I just know it. <laughs> Got a max max weight. This is one of the bugged Gimsbok. Let's go check a look. I was running after a level 4 Springbok, and then I just saw this guy laying on the ground. We were just talking in the multiplayer chat. That's a 960, but I think that's max for male, isn't it? I think that might be the max for male. I did have two unfortunate run-ins with some legendary animals, one being a level 9 Cape Buffalo, which just came up short of being a diamond, and then the second was a level 5 Kudu, which, oh my gosh, could have been a thousand. We don't know. I mean, this thing was massive, and I just flubbed it up so bad. I waited and waited for the perfect shot, and it just uh, pulled the trigger way too early, and I should have just waited even more. Don't do that, everyone. Just hold off and get the right shot when you can. Oh, I just want to forget about this. Lastly for the diamond hunts is this great diamond wildebeest I was able to find last night on Saturday this this week. I mean, this is recent, I tell you. Uh, I waited and waited for this guy to come out. He had the whole herd around him. I called, I sat here and waited, and they ran around, and I hid in a bush this entire time until finally he stepped out. And I was able to kind of wait until he got out of the way of this bush and get a great double lung on him, I believe, and listen to the... F oh my gosh, just 
The stampede of wildebeest is such a cool sound, and when you hear it, you just know there's a ton of wildebeest around you. So after doing some consec checks, I was able to come up on him and check this guy out. 984 Diamond Wildebeest and a great way to finally just call it night and go to bed because it was like 2 in the morning. So anyway, comment down below, tell me about your diamonds you've been finding. Like this video if you found it entertaining and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, hunters, keep hunting, don't stop. See you next time.